All right. So okay. warm temps. Feels like almost like we're getting to summer at this point. Oh, it really? Is. I mean, temperatures, spring. we really have been. It's kind of been just a con seasonal confusion, right? We got winter, we got spring. Sounds like Utah. It does sound like Utah. And that's what we can expect here in the spring. And we're going to be hanging on to this heat at least for one more day where, again, yeah, we did break our temperature or record, I should say, in Salt Lake City, getting up to 79 degrees. Now, temperatures towards St. George, not dealing with just... Uh, 80s, we've been even close to 90 degrees now. Currently, we're 86. Winds, not much of a factor. Very dry. Here's the thing. We've been talking about fires. We've got fire concerns here across the state because of the winds and because conditions are dry. Where That's not a big concern towards the end of March, but we are in a unique situation statewide, of course, as we've been holding on to these drought. And then again, the snowpack and the situation during the winter months where, again, we're below average, at least across northern into west central Utah. Currently 77 degrees in Salt Lake City. We've got partly sunny skies, a few high clouds around. Winds not too strong, sustain anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. We are expecting winds to pick up, though, come Sunday into Monday as well. But we'll keep it warm, and with those south winds, even warmer temperatures expected for tomorrow, at least across northern Utah. And yes, it's the warm or the hot before the drop, where temperatures will be dropping, especially as we go Tuesday into Wednesday. As the storm does approach, it's mainly going to be bringing rain, both to the valleys, up to the mid-elevations. Higher air terrain, though, we do expect to see more snow, so that is good news there. Uh, clouds, as mentioned, northern central Utah right now. We're not seeing any activity from radar. We'll keep it dry. That high pressure in place, and it's a high pressure cooker right now, keeping those warm temperatures around at least one more day. So front sweeps in. It brings the showers. It's coming in from the west, so it will bring some cooler air, but it's not coming in from the northwest, which means that we're not going to see a huge temperature drop or bring winter back. That will not be the case. But let's talk about the timing of the storm where, as we take a look at the computer models, moving the clock here this afternoon through tomorrow morning, we've got sunny skies across the south, uh, partly cloudy skies from northern Utah on your forecast for tomorrow. Notice the flow out of the south, those winds kicking in. We head into Sunday evening, no concerns. Monday, things begin to change. We start off cloudy conditions, northern central Utah, it's mostly cloudy. Now we start bringing in the showers, especially throughout the afternoon. Now very light in nature for northern Utah. The biggest focus will be across southwestern Utah. Then it fills in Monday night as we'll see scattered showers in effect. And you start to see a little blue there as we go into Tuesday. Again, snow levels will be dropping. We'll definitely keep it away from the valleys. Expected to see those snow levels drop down to about 7,500 feet there. Now for tonight, again, we're not focused on the storm. We're going to be holding on to these mild temperatures as overnight lows typically should be in the upper 30s, but it's 50s here along the Wasatch Front. You've got the clouds in place. We start off mild, and then those highs tomorrow definitely do climb. The difference is we'll be picking up the winds as well. Anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the afternoon across northern Utah. Some stronger wind gusts from Delta, uh, Delta Milford through Tooele County as well. And then we'll wait for that cool front hitting Monday through Tuesday. That brings rain in the forecast for St. George. Again, looking into the afternoon hours, lingering rain heading into Tuesday. We go from 80s to 60s and then back into the 70s, bouncing between the 60s and 70s, but scattered showers expected Thursday and Friday. Northern Utah, 80s tomorrow. 70s on Monday, so it's a cool down. We're down into the 50s, upper 50s, I should say, on Tuesday, but that's about where we should be as we'll hold on to upper 50s, low 60s, with the possibility of some scattered rain Thursday and Friday. So the wettest day will be Tuesday, but again, cooling things off. A slow climb back into uh, the 60s by the weekend as we'll bring some sunshine back, but this is the spring weather that we want to see, slowing down that snow melt. Again, trying to slow down that uh, spring runoff there as we'll find those temperatures and build up the snow a little bit, at least for the mountains, as we head into Tuesday.